Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is this week's grocery haul from Aldi in addition to our meal plan for the week. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first item I bought was something I showed on Instagram a while ago, but keep forgetting to pick up. It is the riced cauliflower. I am so excited about this. I know it's weird, but I am because I just dislike ricing cauliflower. It makes such a mess in my kitchen, even if I used a food processor or whatever. So really excited to give this a try. They have this, which is plain, and then they have a garlic version also. So if you have tried either one, please let me know. I'm probably going to be adding some salt, some pepper, um, my own kind of garlic, maybe um, put a bit of onion cooked in the pan first to kind of brown it a bit uh, to this riced cauliflower. The next thing I bought was at the register. Boo would like it for snacks. So some baked goldfish in the rainbow colors some Roma tomatoes. I mostly use these for uh, breakfast with eggs. That's like my favorite meal. If I can add avocado, it makes it even better. But yeah, love, love Roma tomatoes. I kind of like them actually when they're a little under ripe because then they're really firm. I uh, also bought some mushrooms. I might actually save these for next week. It's go just gonna depend how I feel with breakfast, but I'll usually um, incorporate those into an omelet or a scramble. Also bought some yogurts for my husband. He usually likes strawberry is his favorite, um, but we're also going to try the banana. I'll see how he likes that one. Some almond milk. It's been a while since I bought this, but I do remember liking it. They have a vanilla version as well if you'd like a little bit of sweet. Uh, typically, I'll be putting this in hot tea or in coffee instead of regular creamer. I try to buy the free range organic chicken broth whenever I can because they don't always have them at my Aldi. So again, I might save that until next week. We'll see. Lemon juice is a staple in our household. I just pretty much get it anywhere if I'm not buying fresh lemons uh, a whole lot. So Dollar Tree or Aldi, you know, we use it a lot for roasted veggies actually. I have a butternut squash there that's kind of hiding behind the oranges my favorite oranges ever, the Kara Kara, as I say over and over again. And I love, love their household section with toys and uh, all sorts of good stuff. So um, this is a wreath. I'm hoping it'll go well over our fireplace. This cantaloupe, uh, I can already see now it's kind of ripening. See how it's dimpling there? So we'll have to eat this tonight and tomorrow. Not a big deal, I know, but uh, sometimes I kind of have to just take what I can get. So it was like a dollar, so <laughs> it was still worth it to me. For meat this week, we got some organic ground beef and then one of the never any whole chickens. This is a lot of meat for us. So this will last us kind of a while. I might even bake, bake this whole thing and then freeze some of it to make for soups the following week or barbecue chicken. Boo wanted a watermelon. I typically wouldn't buy watermelon this time of year where I live, it's not the best. We'll see how it tastes, who knows. Green bell peppers, some green beans, uh, this 24 package of the Junior Waters, some zucchini, yum yum, and I'm so excited because the regular bananas were so green today. It was just the sea of green. Usually the regular bananas are like super overripe, yellow, lots of bruises, so I was really happy today. Uh, some yellow onions, get these all the time, some cage-free eggs, a couple dozen of those, and then for our mom's group this week, we have an evening meeting uh, and a daytime meeting coming up. So I have two meetings. One meeting, I'll bring these wafer rolls in the vanilla and the chocolate fudge. And the next meeting, I'll bring the biscotti, the almond biscotti, dipped in chocolate. And then these, oh my gosh, you guys. I think these are so good. They're like thin mints. And I kind of regret buying them today because I saw the price and that makes them even more attractive, 95 cents. Geez Louise, right? And then TMI probably, but I thought I would give their feminine products a try. I have no idea if they're any good, but you know, we'll see how it goes. 
And then for the meal plan this week, Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna do an orange whole chicken. I'm gonna use some of those Kirika oranges, especially the rinds to kind of tuck underneath the skin and some of the juice to kind of base the chicken a little bit. Um, and then I also put some salt and pepper. It's fairly, fairly simple. Um, I'll use the riced cauliflower as a side to that and also either the zucchini or the green beans. Whichever one of those I don't use will be incorporated into a breakfast or a lunch. Wednesday, Thursday will be chili and salad. So I'm gonna use the ground beef, mix that in with some of the green, with one or two of the green peppers, I'm not sure yet. Some onion, some uh, diced tomatoes that I got from Dollar Tree and they're organic, what can I say? Uh, alongside that will be salads, very simple. I'm pretty much the only salad I eat these days, which is with cranberries, oranges, and sometimes I'll add some gala apples if they're uh, kind of over ripening in the fridge, you know, and I want to use them up. Friday, uh, we will have a meatless Friday. It'll be a squash and pepper hash. So I'm gonna use the butternut squash. I'll bake that in the oven so it's super, super easy to peel. And then I'll add into that some onion, some garlic, the uh, one of the green peppers. And yeah, it's really, really simple, but that squash is big. It's gonna be really, really filling. Saturday will be um, some leftover stuff. So I have in the fridge, actually, let me show you some leftover Simple Truth hot dogs. These are from Kroger. And um, I have to say their hot dogs are so meaty and not so fatty that they're like really dense sausages. So it's kind of like a sausage and pepper thing that I'm gonna make. So there's gonna be um, a little bit of pepper if I have any pepper left over. If not, I have some in the freezer from my garden last summer. Uh, I'll also put some of the yellow onion in there, a bit of garlic, and then we'll have that on top of some rice. So it tastes like sausage and peppers over rice, except it's hot dogs. And then Sunday, if we don't have any food left over from these meals, then I will be using the ultimate thin crust, um, pizza crust from Dollar Tree to make just a simple cheese pizza. All right, so that is it for this week's meal plan and Aldi grocery haul. As always, guys, let me know what recipes you've been liking lately. I've been looking to find more recipes that use broccoli. So um, I've been kind of bored of having broccoli as a side or broccoli in stir fry um, or in casseroles. So let me know if you have any suggestions of what to do with broccoli. Uh, a lot of the times I'm letting broccoli kind of get uh, kind of old in the refrigerator, so I'll end up putting it into some soup, which is totally fine and really still very delicious because I like broccoli that way. But yeah, I'm looking for some ideas. If you have any, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye -bye.